Hello guys, welcome to this fifth episode of the Built a Web API in ASP.NET Core 3.1 and consume it using an MVC client also in ASP.NET Core. I shall be uploading one video every day from Monday to Friday. In my previous episode, that was the episode number four, I explained the CRUD stored procedures for the SQL Server database that I created for this project. In this episode, I will create the customer model which will map the customer table in the database. I will build the project from scratch and walk you through the code explaining everything in the process. All the episodes will be in continuation from the previous ones and so it is highly recommended to be up to date with all the previous episodes before doing this one because the previous episodes are the foundation stones for the project till this lecture and the essential links and the SQL scripts you'll find in the video description. I also request you to view the entire video in all these episodes to get the best out of them. As always, every suggestion and feedback are welcome and please subscribe and share this channel and click the bell notification icon to get the latest in the uploads. And if you want to see the finished product, please do visit the first part, very first episode uh, where I have shown you the running application. Okay, so let's get over to the uh, learning outcomes. So by the end of this lecture, we shall complete the creation of the customer model, which will be required in our project. Okay, let's switch over to Visual Studio now. So I'll have to create a models folder in which I will create the customer model. So right click on the project label and add new folder and name it models. Right click the models folder, click on add class customer class public class customer is created for me. So remember been again revisiting the customer table within the SQL Server Management Studio. Just for revision, I have got these columns, ID, name, address, telephone number, telephone and email. So getting back to the Visual Studio, I'll have to map this class so that it has got a relationship with this, direct relationship with this customer table. So I'll create a few public properties to uh, actually map to the columns of fields. So prop tap tap, then int and this is the ID. This is string and what was the second field or second column was name and just copy it over but with the other two fields they were address and telephone. So again the string so varchar is mapped to string in C sharp and name address and telephone. Right, the final field will be a email field. Again, which is a string type in C sharp corresponding to varchar or n varchar for culture neutral, which is in Varchar. So this is string. So my customer class is complete. So let's um, save it. And if you'd like, you could build it. Control Shift B to see everything is all right or not. So here you can see that build has succeeded. So everything is fine. Nothing is broken so far. 